Hello. Thank you once again for uh, stopping by for this uh, video lesson, short video lesson. So in this video, I'm presenting uh, how to unpack science passages. Science passages are common across all the reasoning tests. Two passages are must in both GMAT, GRE, and even SAT. Reading comprehension itself is a challenging task. On top of that, science passages makes it even more difficult because we don't read. Uh, in fact, we read very little and um, we read um, sciences very rarely. And uh, when it comes to science, uh, the science can be of a variety of subject matters, environmental science and um, geology, geography and um, astronomy. So they all come under science. So it's going to be very challenging because um, they sound a bit intimidating and um, it takes a while for you to get familiarized with the matter. First and foremost thing is uh, that you don't have to have any specialized knowledge on uh, these science topics because all the answers and uh, entire information to answer it is already available in the passage directly or indirectly. So it's important that um, you, first of all, um, read. Uh, so when it comes to reading, there are various approaches, right? Mm, skim reading, scan reading, and active reading. So active reading is the word uh, or the method to follow. And the other thing is, the passage time could be passage type could be like it may be argumentative, descriptive. If it is descriptive, everything is built around a central idea. If it is argumentative, you have a claim, and the claim is supported with reasons, recent studies, examples, factual information, etc. And then you skim read the paragraph because the first sentence of the paragraph contains the um, main idea, and then you make a note of that. You have to build a um, table of content. So when you build a, a table of content, you'll also be able to see how it is organized, how it started, how it is developed, how it ended. So these are very important. And then, and then when you look at um, the entire organization and the macro picture, you should be able to summarize that in one line, one line, as you would tell to your friend. And then that is followed by um, the author's perspective is also important, why he is writing, what he is writing. Another thing is uh, coming to the questions. Questions would be on the content, that's about information and ideas, um, main idea, supporting detailed questions and also inference questions and all the reasoning questions and all the reasoning tests, inference questions are a major part uh, because uh, questions are not um, so direct that you can um, directly take the answer from the passage. So you have to add a bit of reasoning to the information in the passage and that will give you the inference. Inference is the hidden idea of what the passage is indirectly saying. And um, you sh it should always come from a, based on the fact from the passage uh, and then don't stretch it too long. It should be always based on a bit of, just a small leap of reasoning should be used. Um, author's tone, author's style, they all come from the choice of words used by the author. And then comes structure, how the ideas are interconnected, interrelated, how the paragraphs are connected. Are they, is that information extended or is that a lot of uh, points and counterpoints or do you have cause and effect or do you have things in sequence or in chronological order? So there's always a structure that we need to identify because the questions are going to be about how they are related. As I mentioned, active reading, you need to read every word. 
every sentence and then you have to ask yourself okay what is this uh, the sentence saying and what does this mean so what so what the what is that author is asking me to react and um, do in response to the information there so you need to actively read because there are layers of information you have to identify each category of information is this a background information is this a, uh, the claim is this the author's opinion is this something that the author is reporting is this something the author is advancing or not and um, is this the conclusion so there is uh, without a purpose author doesn't write anything there so for everything that is written there is a and we launch a certain category it also as a purpose and then answer choice analysis um, there is a video that was already made um, there may be four or five choices but only one is objectively correct the other one may be the opposite the other one may use the words from the passage but the meaning or the context of the question doesn't match so careful so there are many distractors and sometimes so there may be an answer choice that's out of the context out of scope so time management is very important because um, the most uh, time demanding questions are time repeating comprehension so um, you get a hold on time management only with practice and confidence and uh, don't take too long on any particular question and it can go up to even 180 seconds for each questions and beyond also depending upon the type of question and the nature of the passage and the level of difficulty of the passage. So if you've been thinking of uh, preparing for any of the reasoning tests, uh, Y-axis is a very good uh, source for your guidance. Um, please uh, talk to us and check it out. We provide um, a very timely and uh, a course um, that is just suited for you, whether you're preparing from the basics or you're a student or a professional. We cover all right from foundational to high scoring uh, procedures. And then there's a lot of material um, available on our LMS, uh, both official material and other similar materials. And um, we also provide you, especially if you're, pro, if you're working on GRE, uh, very exclusive academic resources. And then we have weekend, weekday, private tutoring. And uh, please uh, talk to us. And um, thank you once again for stopping by and your interest in preparing for this uh, reasoning test. Uh, uh, hoping to see you in our classroom and all the best with your preparation. Thank you so much.